Hi, this is Jane McNeil from Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm at the Western Surgical Association in Santa Fe, New Mexico, talking with Dr. Anise Chatpar, who has just presented a very interesting study that showed women, elderly women over the age of 70, who had breast-conserving surgery and hormonal therapy did not benefit from radiotherapy. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what you found, whether this says women should not have it at that age, or is this more a variable? So, the NSABP B06 was a landmark trial that indicated to us that women could have breast-conserving surgery and have equal results to those women who had full mastectomies. But what that study demonstrated was that in order to have breast-conserving surgery and have the same local regional recurrence rate, you needed to have radiation therapy. That study, however, like many studies, excluded women who were over the age of 70. And this is an important factor because the highest incidence of breast cancer occurs in women who are between the ages of 75 and 79. And the majority of older patients present with very indolent disease, small tumors, they tend to be lymph node negative, and the vast majority have hormone receptor positive disease, which can be very well treated with hormone therapy. So the question that was asked was, do we really need radiation therapy in these women who often have multiple comorbidities who may not benefit from the addition of radiation therapy after breast conserving surgery? There had been two other studies before our study that had looked at this question. The CALGB 9343 trial, which demonstrated that the benefit in radi of radiation therapy in these older patients was minimal, and the Canadian study, which likewise found the same. Our study is more contemporary and looked at a population of patients who were over the age of 70 who were uniformly treated with hormonal therapy after breast conserving surgery. And we found that there was no difference in local regional recurrence rates between those patients who were treated with radiation therapy and those patients who were not, advocating perhaps that radiation therapy may be omitted in older women who are treated with breast conserving surgery with adjuvant hormonal therapy. The, these conclusions are now supported by the NCCN, who have built this into their 2008 guidelines. Now, you had an extraordinarily low recurrence rate for both arms of your study. Um, does this reflect, perhaps, uh, that there's been a change in treatment some, since some of these earlier studies were done? Yes. So, in these earlier studies, uh, for example, both the Canadian and the CALGB 9343 study occurred prior to 2000, um, when sentinel lymph node biopsy was unheard or at least very rare. So none of the patients in those two studies were treated with sentinel lymph node biopsy, whereas over 50% of our patients were treated with sentinel lymph node biopsy, indicating that in these very low-risk patients, uh, they have a very good survival. In addition, um, our patients um, you know, now, particularly as we move forward uh, with the use of aromatase inhibitors, one can only imagine that the recurrence rates will be even lower. So these populations have an excellent prognosis. And this will only make us think more about potentially omitting radiation therapy in selected patients.